Hello, everybody, and welcome to my amazing trophy collection. Do you like it? Do you like it? It's very good, isn't it? You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> so, hello, everybody. Um, yes, we're doing a Jurassic World. Sorry, that was that was me unzipping my flyer. It wasn't me unzipping my jumper. See? See? Look, listen. Listen. Jumper. L look. See, a fly's not that big. You dirty beggars, you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the reason why we are in here today is because we actually have some new dinosaurs coming. Or some new creatures anyway. So if we go to news and look, bam, March Madness. Get your tournament on for the month of March. There will be a new tournament every weekend. Now, this could mean that there's going to be uh, four new creatures. Or it could mean that um, we're going to get one definitely new creature because that creature right there is new and it looks to be like a belly dragon like a uh, mastodonosaurus or a uh, super kool-aid it looks like it's gonna be that animation it's got a very like long jaw but not only that but i got sent this image which i'll put up now please james remember to put it in god <laughs> what it's gonna look like or at least a, a, a little bit of a better view of it which seems to be in some sort of swamp creature this this also could be uh, the image they're gonna use for the tournament that it's gonna be in so, this begs a lot of questions. Is it so it's gonna be a tournament creature, which means it's gonna take ages to do in the hatchery, but but is it gonna be exactly like the other tournament creatures? Because if we go in to the infinite battle and we get our free Gorgasuchus, uh, whereabouts in the roster will this uh, dinosaur amphibian land? Um, well, if it's tournament creature. It is, it's probably going to, I mean, look at this. It's going to be about here. If it's tournament creature, this is, look at, look at Conoraptor sliding in there. Slipping in them DMs. <laughs> He's like, ah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm as good as a legendary tournament creature. <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. Yes, you are. So if it is a tournament creature, it's going to be just as good as these ones. However, I really, I don't know. I, I hope they don't. I hope they make, um like these tournament creatures better than um, normal ones. And the reason why I think that is just because, you know what, we want new, better creatures. That, that's what this game has always been about. It's always about getting the best. Like, you know, upgrading one dinosaur, hybridizing it to make an even better dinosaur, or, you know, saving up for a better carnivore than what you've got right now. So I'm hoping, I mean, yes, it's gonna add to, uh, I mean, if it's a creature that's like, if it's not a creature as good as these creatures, it'll mean that everybody has a chance to use it. I, I, I mean, I can use them even if I'm, you know, my my best dinosaurs are way better. I can still use it. And uh, people who unlock it through the tournament who are like level 50 or 40 or whatever will have a good dinosaur to use. So... Um, that is, that is pretty much all I want to talk about. Uh, hopefully we're going to get, um, loads of new tournament creatures coming out through March, which is what they seem to be hinting towards. We, I mean, we can't see any just yet apart from that one. Um, I'm not too sure what kind of amphibian it'll be. It'll be one that, if it's not in War with Dinosaurs, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, what kind of dinosaur that could be. It could be like a, a very primitive amphibian. That's what it looks like to me. Um, what were the ones in Walking with Dinosaurs? Walking with Monsters. Ah, oh, what were those ones? Because it looks to have a very similar head. I wonder. I'll, I'll, if post editing, James, if you want to put up the name, if you can find it or even remember to do that. There you go. There you go. That's, that's my prediction right there. So, uh, also, I've hatched all my dinosaurs. My hatcheries are free. Yay. Okay. Ooh, give me that food. Hell yeah. Um, now I'll just quickly check in here. I, and because my hatcheries are free. Ooh, wow. How much does an irritator sell for? I've got 18 of them. That's kind of tempting, just because it'll take ages, and I'll probably never get around to it. So you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm probably losing, like, 600 DNA, but I'm okay. I'd rather just get rid of 18 of them. This is where I find out that I got absolutely ripped off. <laughs> but, yeah, that soup chart for us I accidentally bought in the last episode. Oh, what a good job I did there. Um, I hatched it, and I sold it for 8,000. So, but what I also realized is we have all of these. Like, so many Suchopteruses. So, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, God, do not do not sell that one. So, we're going to sell. So, that's... Let's say it's 9,000. So, it's 18,000, 27,000, 36,000, 
A more thousand. Oh, almost clicked that one. So we've got over half a million DNA. I don't even know where I got all those from. The same with all these spider raptors. I really don't need them, if I've got to be honest. But at the same time, I got all of those Suchopteruses um, because there was a, um, like when the, the harbors were first came out, you could trade gold for dinosaurs, like legendaries. And that's probably how I got most of those. Um, but the thing is, Suchotrus, as far as legendary hybrids goes, apart from, you know, his tongue sticking out, looks really weird. It's not the best of creatures. It is the dragon and it can breathe fire, but it isn't the best. So that's a bit of a shame. So I, you know what? I'd rather save my DNA for Indoraptor when that comes out. <laughs> I'm calling it. Um, and, uh, is, I'm, you know, there's probably loads of other dinosaurs and creatures that I could also sell. Like, I mean, how many Indominus Rexes do we have? We have five of them, which we could easily sell. However, I do use them. I mean, with 561 attack and 1,470 health, it's nothing to be sniffed at. You, you shouldn't turn your nose up at that. That's really good. That's uh, on par with a T-Rex, if a little bit weaker than a level 40. And a lot of those I did get for coin. Uh, but we'll see what kind of situation we're- Ooh, what are you to Get the good one out! And you! Oh, I only- Oh, there it is! Get the good ones out! Uh, do I even have Urantius level 40? Oh, that's interesting! I guess that's because I've already got the, uh, hybrid of it. And guys, guys, you didn't- You didn't hit that like goal! Which means... I'm never gonna record a video again! <laughs> that's something like... Um, I always find, like, YouTubers- um, they always they always like leave a like goal, but then if it never if it doesn't reaches it they they never bring it back up again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll just ignore that and wait until like two months later, and then we'll be like, guys, you smashed it. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even being serious anyway. But yeah, actually, you did really get close to that like goal. But now that we've got these new creatures coming out, I kind of got to save my DNA. So I know you basically did get. The light goal, meaning I should get Praetorodon maxed up. And we will do it eventually. Just bear with me. So, um, while, you know, the new creatures come out, we've got to spend all the DNA on that. So, we can do... Uh, oh, let's just get some food, actually. This should be re relatively easy. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, yes it is. And it only costs one coin. So, hopefully, uh, Utah Raptor um, should go for two attacks straight off the bat. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Mmm, sniffles, yes. Done a lot of talking today. Recorded a video twice, actually, because I realized the first time I recorded it, it was pretty pants. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, well, he's only going to have three. And I don't think he can kill me with three. Even if it doubled, he'd only hit me with about, like, 700. So, let's go for that. And he only blocked for two. Wabush! So let's quickly get this food pack. And we need to also get something else. There's another pack as well, like Monsters of the Deep. That would be good to get. Uh, it depends what we have to use to get it. Although I'm pretty excited about new creatures. It's been so long since we've had new creatures put in the game. Apart from like VIPs. Which, you know, you are pretty darn good. But uh, it's going to be nice if this whole March, you know, in hype for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we just get a bunch of new tournament creatures. And you know what new tournament creatures means? New hybrid dinosaur possibilities. So, um, they may not come out straight away, but I feel like with Fallen Kingdom, when Fallen Kingdom comes out, we're gonna get new hi we're gonna get Indoraptor as well as new hybrids to make from the tournament creatures that we've just got. So I don't know what Indoraptor would be made of, or if it's just something you buy straight out of the market. That would be kind of interesting. What would be good if you it is like in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you bid for it a bit, a bit like they did, and you've got to like put in your DNA and how much it's worth. Um, but at the same time, I hope it wouldn't be too much of a ripoff. It would be fun in concept, but I don't want Interruptor to cost 100,000 DNA unless it's really good. So, sorry, I did have a look at that. That is... It's okay. You know, we'll do the mystery. Because the... Oh, should we? We don't have any good packs to win. Ex yeah, not even on those. Uh, the cl Ooh. No, that's wrong. I was going to say that's Geosaur. But Geosaur... I think you have to do a... Oh, no, you don't have to do a Qualix. And you only have to do three battles of those, and you do win a Geosaur pack. But what kind of resources? 500 DNA, and how much for this one? Uh, 250 DNA. And is that that one's Aquatics, though. Ah, not you see, none of these packs are really... I've already unlocked Geosaur. Climate Shift doesn't give you great uh, resources. And the Battle Stage Infinite is a mystery pack, which means that 
I gotta get crap prizes. But the dinosaurs in there are the hardest ever. At level 60 Gorgosuchus and level 245 Urantius. Which is ridiculous. So I'm gonna have to use my dinosaurs. I, like, mystery packs out of the question. Not worth it. We'll do Monsters of the Deep. And then... Actually, no, no! No, I... <laughs> Make your mind up, James. We'll do this one. Uh, but even then, this is pretty tough. So I'm gonna put in Mastodonosaurus, hopefully. You know what? I'm gonna put in the Super Kool-Aid. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in Super Kool-Aid. Can't be killed in... One hit. Actually, Monolophosaurus even gets a nerf, doesn't it? So, what we need to do here is have a good herbivore that can take... Hmm, but then we only have Ankylodocus. Ah! Ooh, lordy lord! The oh, Prestosuchus with that attack, 1800. But, Ost you know what? Ostoposaurus. Ostoposaurus is... No, or Gorgosuchus. That'll do. Right, guys, this is going to be incredibly risky. But I'm going to go for block, hoping that he'll switch out and then attack. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it! So I'm going to go for two reserves here. Uh, oh my god, he's got 11,000 health? Oh, my Anglodocus couldn't even do that if it, if it hits for like five. Ah! You little buggy, you. Went for one. Oh, this is not good. Woo! Have we got... We've only got four, right? Oh no, we have five. I don't know if we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have to go for five! Oh, he blocks for one! Okay, right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Like, this is ridiculous! I'm using really good dinosaurs here. Lydia, your next update, please tone down the level of those dinosaurs, because it is. I, I like I'm using my best creatures here. I don't have a better uh, herbivore. Um, so, he's gonna have three. So I'm going to go for two block, meaning that I've definitely survived. And he's going to switch into a carnivore. And we're going to have three extra. So we're going to have about six, maybe even seven on our next go. So yes, perfect. Right, have we got seven? We've got seven. Okay, let's switch out. 3,500, a lot better. One, two, three, kills him. One, two, and you know what? You know what? I'm gonna block for only two, because I don't think we can die from Quetzal with two hits. Oh, wait. With, sorry, with one hit. Wait. Yes. <laughs> I was like, wait, he's got 5,000, right? Okay, yeah, we can't die in one hit. So, but worst case, he goes for three. But he only went for two! Awesome! Yes, this is good. I like it. So, he's got one block. Uh, what I will do is just go for full reserve here. Um... So he's going to switch out, leaving him with four, and I mean, let's see what he does. Right, he's only got one block. That's good, that's good. One block, I think we kill him in three, which means we have to go for four. Uh, so one, two, three, factor in the one block, and then one, two, three, one reserve. Now, if he didn't go for the block, which he didn't, we would have lost there 100%, because he would have had five and... He can kill us in two. And that, that, like, if this wasn't here, if you couldn't exit out, it would suck so badly. Because <laughs> you couldn't do anything. Also, guys, leave down in the comments what you think uh, this new creature is going to be. What the new amphibian is going to be. Um, I'm, like, I'm putting my bets on that walking with monsters. Because that's the same sort of jaw. I mean, it's, pro it's like a huge salamander. Salamandra. As opposed to a salamander. Yes, yes, that's right. You can't kill me! And actually, I don't think I can kill you, even though you went for a full-out attack. Or did you? One, two, three, four... Uh, I think he's got one block. Oh, great! <laughs> Fantastic! Yay! I'm kind of stuck into a corner here. Um, can I win? Uh, you know what, guys? I don't think I can win. Um, it really depends. It really depends, because I could lure him into a situation where he deliberately goes for an all-out attack. I could do that. Um, block, block, block. And then reserve, reserve. No, wait, hold on. We could do this. We could do this. If he, if he attacks for four right now, we've won. That's it. Woo, that was close. I thought it was going to be a situation where I could only block for one extra reserve. And the rest had to all be put into block. But th with that, that was good. That was lucky, actually. Bam! 
because Gorgasu just could take one hit, that allowed us to win there. If it if Gorgasu just died in one hit, then no. We wouldn't have won that, and it would have just been a cycle, probably. And I would have eventually gotten lucky, and he would have probably killed me. So, let's see what the second battle is. Oh, Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Unichisaurus, right. Also, guys, I, I put a different head on this microphone. So, um, like, it might have popped in the previous few videos, and I, I read some comments saying people that, um, they were like, oh, Beaver, we've got a new microphone. No, I put a different head on it, and it made it sound worse. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, um, right, let's go for, we need a little thing to make him switch, a little amphibian, because he'll be screwed. He'll be screwed when he sees it. So we'll put in Pressosuchus, then we'll put in Erlophosaurus, and then we'll put in Ostoposaurus. Okay, so I'm gonna go for one block. And I just realized, look at this Dilophosaurus! 12,000 in health! Ridiculous! And almost 5,000 attack! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna go for two reserves here. Uh, he goes, oh, please. Actually, no. No, yeah, he can kill me in one hit. Please don't. I should I should have went for two block. Ah, oh, you are kidding me! Again! It's the same as last battle. I should I should always go for one block. That's what I should always do. I would have died in one hit though, so if we went for two, it would have been wasted. Um, so we have a lot of attack here. So we can. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, he has one block. Oh, I didn't account for that. Okay, right, guys. Right, let's let's just take that. <laughs> you look, look, right, look. Look at what I'm facing. Things with 12,000 health, with 5,000 attack. It is literally impossible. I'm com Even with Erlophosaurus, with the attack boost, they still have 2,000 extra attack on me, as well as like 3,000 extra health. There's no way I can make this even. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for two block, three reserve, and he's only gonna have three, I think? And he can't kill me. He's probably gonna switch out anyway. There you go, Dilophosaurus versus Erlophosaurus. It's like evil Lophosaurus. What? <laughs> Dilophosaurus. <laughs> One, two. Um, did he go for two attack? I think he did, actually. And if he did... Yes! He's gonna switch out, is what he's gonna do. Come on, Dilophosaurus, you got this, buddy. Oh, God. Well, he can't kill me. So yeah, he's gonna switch out. Good, good, good. What are you gonna do? Oh, he went for three. I think he might have had one block though. So we do two, almost 3,000 attack. That's good. That's good. Please don't have a block. One, two, three. Oh, he just survives. Ugh, this isn't good. Um, now, wait, what? Just, James, think about this. If he's got a reserve, we're dead. I could get lucky and he might have that block, or he might not have anything at all. He switched in Dilophosaurus, and I think Dilophosaurus went for three attack, didn't he? I think he did. He went for an all out. And if that's the case, we can go for three block, right? Aha! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, we actually can't kill Dilophosaurus here. Hmm. We can't kill Dilophosaurus, but... But... We can't, oh, we can, damn, I can't take one hit from Unesaurus, or Urancus, or whatever you want to call it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's what I'm going to do. He's going to have four, he's going to switch out, wasting one of his vital goes, leaving him with three. Oh no, we could take two hits from Urancus, damn. No! Ah, oh, this went horribly wrong. <laughs> I could have... Ah, well, actually, it wouldn't have been- it wouldn't have made a difference. I still would have had it. So, one, two, three, four, five. I think he went for an all-out attack, didn't he? Didn't he? One, two, three. No, he went for- he went for two. Oh, are you friggin' serious? He's got one- If he's got one block, it doesn't matter. I've died again. Let's see if he went for that block. Right. With Dilophosaurus has got five. I'm dead. Dilo- <laughs> Okay, come on, James. We got this. All that needs to happen is for him to go for an all-out attack. And we're good. So, four reserve, four block. There's the five. Go for five. Please go for five. God damn it. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. 
Go go for one block now. Yes. And then go for four. Come on, go for four. You can do it. Do it. Yes! Perfect! Right, now we've done it. We'll get there eventually, guys. One, two, three, four. Ah! And then one, two, three. Because I can't take two hits from Dilophosaurus. I can't. Hopefully, when Dilophosaurus comes in, he goes for four. Otherwise, I might be a little bit screwed. Please go for four. Please do. Don't go for one. Yes! Oh, <laughs> the only saving grace is that I feel like it's kind of in the pro- Oh, did I kill him? Three, six- I'm sure I have, yeah. 18,000. Good, good, good. Ooh, that was close. Another 50 DNA. And for the final one, what is it? Giga Giganotosaurus, Majungasaurus, and Diplodocus. And I have not a single amphibian left. Fantastic. Well, you know what? It's I do have Mastodonosaurus, so I'm going to switch in him. Then... Ah, I don't have a carnival! Oh, no. I do have Rage. Rage is good. And... Uh, but... Oh god, this is not good at all. Um, I mean, Rage only gets about 3,000. I might as well have Segnosuchus and then Metrophodon. Yeah, even though... Uh, yeah, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Right. I'm not falling for it this time. I'm going to go for one reserve because Diplodocus can't kill me in one hit, right? I should have checked. Oh, it was close. <laughs> but I'm alive. He didn't even go for it. Yes, go for three reserve. And he blocked. Right. We're on to a winner this time, guys. We can do it. I believe in ourselves. And so can you. And there it is, one attack. Oh, yes. Yes. Four and then two. And he blocked. Right, okay. Is there anything you can do? If it does go for three, we're dead and we've won the game. That is it. Game set and match. Done. And you'll see, how, because Segna Sutures can kill it in three hits. Um, then I'll go for four reserves. So one, two, three, he's dead. Four reserve and one block. Meaning that they're going to have to go for at least two for me to kill them. Meaning that they've only got two block. I'm pretty sure I can go for five. Ah, oh, this is interesting, actually. It depends what he does. He went for three. That's great. He's only got one block. Only one. All right. Meaning that I can go for four and kill him. So one, two, three kills him. Factor in that one extra. Um, now, this is interesting. It depends what he goes. If he goes for the block. Right. Let's see. Would Giganotosaurus kill me in one hit? No, it wouldn't have. Aha! I'm going to make sure I definitely win. <laughs> Chances are I would have won here. I would have won. But just to be on the safe side, um, I'm going to exit out and make sure we win 100%. That's the theory. If it'll load me in, is it, is it not going to? <laughs> you cheater, you're not allowed. So one, two, three. Factor in that one extra. One, two, three. And then where we go. That's the perfect amount we wanted to do. If I knew that Giganosaurus couldn't kill me in one hit, I would have done that. I just wanted to be safe. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, again, th that's probably what would have happened. And we would have won. I just wanted to make sure that I was in a better stead. So, four kills him. We go for the extra five. And does a whopping 47,000 damage. Oh, it gets insane when you get these high level uh, creatures. 47,000. Everything would be dead. Jurassic World would be taken. It'd be like an atomic bomb went off. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that a bird? Oh my god, it's Metrophodon. Run! Poof. <laughs> He's got so much attack. And that, you know what? I, I don't even want to do Monsters Deep. That'll do for this episode. That was blowing touch and go. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye